welcome back. And as always, thanks for tuning in. In this episode, I'm working on the doors. As you can see, I have one built already. It has a few fixes to be made on it, but it was 90% successful, so I decided to continue on to the next door, which you'll see that process momentarily. For those of you that already watched the window episode, you will be getting a little bit of a repeat here with the dado blades and how I'm stacking the spacers um, and putting the entire combo together. In this video, I go into a little more detail with some better camera angles um, to help better inform people uh, who are not familiar with using dados. Um, how they work. So this is a contractor grade, albeit budget, table saw. And you can overwork it pretty easily. And I tripped the breaker a few times while cutting these boards. They're pretty big pieces of lumber for such a small machine. Um, but if you take your time and go slow, you can get these datos out. Also, I was being impatient and my blade was set very high, which puts a tremendous amount of uh, oh, friction and resistance on the blade and the motor. But we got through it. And as I said in the window video, I bought this table saw knowing that I may very well uh, kill it by the end of all this. So these channels that I'm cutting with the dado blades are a bit deeper than I originally intended. But as I bucked out the windows and the doors, I realized that I had ordered the glass maybe a little too big. So I ended up having to uh, make a deeper channel on the edge of these boards. And we'll see how that wears. But if you get your measurements right, you probably don't need more than about three quarters of an inch or even a half inch on these styles that I'm cutting here to um, hold your glass. Now, all the dados I make in these boards are a half inch wide. And then I've also picked up some uh, birch that was half inch wide for the door panel. And you'll see that in a little bit here.
The three pieces we're working with here from top to bottom are the header piece or rail, if you will. Then the middle piece there is of two by six, and that is the middle rail, which will hold the glass above and the door panel below. And then finally is the, uh, the, the kickboard or the lower rail or the lowest rail of that door piece. And then here I'm just giving a different angle here so you can see the way the dados channel the edge of that 2 by material. And then here is an angle from behind. For those of you who are fortunate enough to have a shop or have the time to build yourself a decent bench, um, I would recommend that you put all of this together, your rails and your styles and your glass and your panel on a bench or sawhorses or something. But for me, as usual, I'm up against the wall for time, so you'll see me on my knees uh, putting together this door. is the door panel. Thank you. 
So for some of you who consider yourselves finished carpenters, the way I'm building these doors may offend you. <laughs> or you may think, I, it, this is just kind of a, a hack job, but I assure you these are stout doors and they last a long time. And you can make them as nice or as rough as you like. But for me, in regard to time and budget and the finish of this rustic cabin, these are gonna be perfect. And yes, I was wrestling the door a little bit. Trying to hold the far end up with the tip of my boot while I set the screw. <laughs> Mind you, this is just part one. We have another door to build and more hardware to install, both for doors and windows. So stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>